Good evening and welcome to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Varsity Soccer. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Tonight we have a varsity tilt here going on in the OA White Division. Lake Orion comes in at 4-0-1 on the season uh, with solid defense, timely scoring, and propelled into the top of the OA White Division. Bloomfield Hills, on the other hand, sits at 1-5-1, trying to find any type of scoring they can. They're going to be up against a tough defensive uh, team in Lake Orion today. So scoring is going to be at a premium. Uh, Coach McCauley for Bloomfield Hills is just hoping for any opening he can find to try to take down these Dragons in the middle of a five-game homestand. Kickoff is next. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. Ian Locke here for Orient Neighborhood Television. Game of the week, Varsity Soccer. Bloomfield Hills in town to take on your hometown Dragons. Kickoff is just a moment away, but make sure you come out to the ONTV studios on October 21st for Community Media Day. We have an open house from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come on in and uh, let's tour the studio, get some cider and donuts, enjoy the fall weather, and just take a look around ONTV. And Community Media Day is a nationwide uh, observance uh, for communities just to recognize how important community media is in our communities. And ONTV is opening our doors. Come on in, take a tour. Uh, stand in front of the green screen to maybe record a message. But October 21st, we hope to see you at the studio at 1349 Joslin Road in Lake Orion. We're underway here. Bloomfield Hills, again, as mentioned in the open, is struggling uh, offensively. And they currently, like I said, are one, five, and one. Trying to find some sort of offense is very difficult, and they're not going to have an easy time of it here against Lake Orion. Two solid goaltenders on their roster uh, that we've seen all season long that are basically one in 1A on this varsity squad, Santiago Vargas and Brendan Zale. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have a roster for Bloomfield Hills, so we'll do our best to give the recognition we can when we hear it on the announcement, uh, the PA system, as the Dragons are pushing forward on this offensive set. Goes out of play, goal kick coming for Bloomfield Hills. Lake Orion is in the green, and BH is in the white jerseys. Dragons again, as I mentioned in the open, are in the middle of a five game home stand, and they're gonna try to take advantage of every one of these games. Dragons like to swarm the ball, and they are dangerous on set pieces, and you gotta watch out for number 19, Red Zip. He is everywhere out on that field, and trying to look at the, the lineup here as Farmer takes it on that far side to get it set up that offense. He's got a big leg and very accurate on his free kicks and throws. So it looks like the regular lineup up here, he's got to mix them up a little bit. We've got uh, Marlette, number six in the game. Don't usually see him starting the match, but good to see number six out there doing his thing. I think that was called offside. That'll come back, uh, kick coming for Bloomfield Hills. Beautiful night for soccer out here, warm. Uh, it's been toasty, you can see the shadows starting to get long behind us as the sun sets. Lights will be coming on here at Dragon Stadium here momentarily as we roll along this contest. Uh, stands are filled with Lake Orion faithful as always and a nice contingent of uh, Blackhawk fans are here as well. Marlette with the throw in from the side over to number 10. You're going to see Jekyll a lot. He takes a lot of the free kicks in the corners for Lake Orion uh, all season long. And this team is an experienced squad loaded with seniors and juniors. And it shows they are well aware where each 
uh, teammate is on this field, spacing and timing and passing. It's just very accurate, very mature team in 2024. Good challenge by Farmer to slow down Blackhawks. Coming near side, going long, trying to find the opening, and ball still in play. Good defensive stand by Marlette. Good team passing there by Lake Orion, and over the top, nicely done. Dragons nearly broke one there. That's Kapler, Will Kapler, number 12, in great position. The Dragons really will attack that middle of the field and make your life miserable. Dragons don't score a lot of goals. Uh, they really have a solid defense, though. They can win. Well, they won one nothing, one one tie, two nothing tilt against West Bloomfield. Uh, North Farming they won five one. That was the largest goal output of the season. But they've only allowed one, two, four goals all season. Testament to the defense on this squad. Nice inside move and cut in the 18. Oh, goes down, no call. Defender was in position and the ball just deflected away. Dragons faithful asking for a PK or a foul in the box. Not gonna get it. Dragon defense really swarming. The farmer putting on the Jets to catch up to that two men on the ball. Look at that. Farmer and number 20, uh, Sosa. Ooh, nice, nice long feed. Easily handled uh, by Bargus. We've seen all season long that uh, uh, Bargus will start the game and then they switch at halftime to Zale. So far, no quality scoring chances or corner kicks for either squad or in the early stages of this varsity matchup here, the OA White Division. Dragons sit firmly atop the standings. And uh, looking good doing it, too. Throw in coming for the Blackhawks. Dragons moving that ball. One thing we can see from this Dragon offensive attack, and we've seen it all season long, is they can move that ball quickly up the field. And when they're uh, at the start of the game, they really like to attack that far right side and can really get upfield quick and draw the defense over, opens up the middle, and then uh, they're accurate passing. There's Farmer, the long ball. We talked about that early, and here we go. Nice tap. Oh, good deep. Good defense and good save. Uh, Jekyll thought he had one. Quality scoring chance for Lake Orion at 33-35, first of the game. Again, here's Farmer going to set this one up. You can see the, uh, the quality lob in and the ac accuracy of those passes from distance from Farmer. And he is a true asset. Jekyll dumped to the turf by number 11 from... Boomfield Hills, easy foul called. Free kick coming for Lake Orion. Marlette with a free kick here. Usually we see uh, Jekyll take these, but it looks like they moved him up to the left forward spot. Nice feed in, knuckling to the right. Dragons get the deflection. Negri comes near side. Marlette. Well, you see the opening space. There's Jekyll. Push from behind, out of bounds, no call. <laughs> and they're going to say a throw in here for Bloomfield Hills. Um, Will's looking for, he goes, you got to be kidding me, two-hand uh, shove from behind. But the game continues. Oh, near fancy pass by 19 Reds of trying to get to Jekyll, can't handle it. And good defense sets that up. Foul coming. And uh, Bloomfield Hills with the free kick after the foul. Oh, good challenge. Dragons are not going to give you anything easy. You're going to have to earn every possession. Every pass has to be pinpoint. Heightening on that far side, number seven, working it. 
trying to battle number 20. Good defense, and it's a goal kick. Heitnan asking for a corner, not going to get it. Linesman's there. Well, thank you for tuning in to this telecast. Owen TV Sports will be bringing you foot varsity football, varsity soccer, and volleyball this uh, fall season. Ooh, in the box, dancing around nicely. Done on point, and oh, just trickles wide left. Nice attempt by Austin Negri, number eight. Second quality scoring chance of the night for Lake Orion at 31-12. Jekyll drops it off for Marlette. Two-man game here. Nice little tap -roo, 17. That's Bill and Lena Loza. And gathered in easily. But still, the pressure. Dragons are going to put you under pressure for a long time. One thing I noticed about this squad is the speed of this team, the size, and the footwork is top notch. They don't give the ball away easily. Nice tic-tac-toe passing. Push from behind, no call, there you go. Delay, number eight had his hands in the air. He knew he was wrong, but he had to. That's a good foul, Dragons were on the move and you saw the lane was there in the middle. Jekyll goes far side to Farmer. Dancing around there is number seven, heighten it. Over to Billina Loza. And kicked out of play by Bloomfield. Or Lake Orion, Bloomfield ball in the throw in. Nice close quarters defense by Lake Orion. Really putting pressure on that ball handler to, fall, uh, to cause turnovers and missteps with the ball. Bloomfield Hills is going to have to make quick decisions on what they're going to do once they touch it. You can't stand around and dance with it. Dragons will collapse on you, cause the turnover. Still a battle over that far side. Decide to switch the field, come over for some open space. Some room to roam here for number 11. Good tap away by the Dragon defense and a quick attack again up the middle by the Dragons. Reds have tries to feet in the middle and just can't find the green jersey. Inside 30 minutes left in this first half, no score. Dragons again undefeated on the season. Four wins and one tie. Bloomfield sitting at 1-5-1. One, one. And the Dragons uh, have a five-game home stretch here, but undefeated, I guess it doesn't matter where you play. They're winning no matter what's happening. Bloomfield putting a little bit of pressure on this Dragon defense, trying to turn around. They do. Heightening's on the move. Feeds up to that auger, I think. Can't get the number on that jersey. On your side, number two, that's Catherine. Jekyll cutting inside and he's taken down, easy call. Number 11's not frustrated with the call, he's frustrated with himself. Now this is what we usually see, Jekyll taking these uh, free kicks at the inter intermediate distances Got Reds up in the box as an, a host of Dragons, and he's going to hit it over to Farmer, trying to use his size. Dragons like the header. There's multiple attempts a game to, to head the ball in, but they've been successful more times than not, actually. It's a difficult play, but the accurate passing and the lobs into the box are are on point for Lake Orion. Farmer in a battle over there, Dragons have it. Bloomfield gets it back. Nice ball inside, low screamer, good stop by number 25. Oh, he's a solid defender, is Gaten. And a slow roller to Bargus. reset that offense. Nice job to get to the middle, number 12, that's Kapler. Jekyll trying to run that one down, can't grab it. Nice job by 19, again, red zip. Two on one, Jekyll. 
Oh, just missed that feed between that back line defense. Heightening was on a streak. Still alive in this dangerous spot here. If the Dragons can turn on it, Jekyll with it. Going far post and punched away nicely. By Bloomfield Hills. Good defensive stand. Heads up goaltending there. Fourth quality scoring chance for Lake Oreen. You see, you see the offense kind of getting a rhythm going here. Placing that ball, stretching that defense, finding that open, going for the far post. It's two uh, hits to the far, far side, that right side of the 18. And just, it's like boxing. Jab, 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 soften up your opponent and then wait for them to fatigue or lose focus and then, and then score that goal. Time continues to roll here. Polina Loza trying to gather out one and he has it. Oh, nice pass through, but Reds can't catch up to it. That little too strong. Good defensive uh, positioning there by Bloomfield Hills to uh, impede number 19's progress to the ball. But Polina Loza, he, good pass, good idea. Negri trying to set it up here, looking for support from Farmer. Negri again up that side. Nice, solid pass. That is good. Momentum going for the Dragons here, trying to get it set up. Deflected. Good steal play continues. Marlette with it, looking for an opening. He does. Chico finding that angle. Oh, and he just misses the play, but it's back to Negri. Farmer. Heightening, trying to make a move. He's working down there tight in the box. Reds have tried to, he's trying to knock it in. That ball skits, uh, skips high. Still alive. He turns on it, shoots. Oh, what a deflection at the last second. Heck of a play by number eight, Negri. Thought he had one. Dragons close quarter passing is on point tonight. Throw in here for Lake Orion as Farmer rolls up to handle the honors. Now, Farmer does a really nice job. He can lob that ball right into the box. It's almost like a free kick. So uh, let's see what happens here. Everybody getting set up. There's the pistol. Here comes the ball. High archer, and it does get into the box. Dragons can't get ahead on it. Kind of caught him flat-footed in a half-hearted uh, lob into the box and a Trying to shoot it. Oh, what a save! And a score, the cleanup. Oh, boy. They're going to call off sides. Are you kidding? Oh, man. Heightening. Those uh, Heightening and Negri with uh, my word with Jekyll on the cleanup, thought he had it. And they're gonna say offsides. Mm. Scratch that one. Already had it on my paper. Six quality scoring chance for Lake Orion nullified on the offside. But you can see the pressure being put on and that offense is pushing deeper and deeper uh, into Bloomfield Hills end and um, their defense is bend but don't break at this point of the match. Good defense there to slow that down. Should be a throw in here for Lake Orion. If you'd like more soccer action or Dragon Sports in general from ONTV, head on over to orionontv.org and uh, check out our video on demand and our video library of all the games uh, from this year and last. We usually keep a catalog of three years worth of uh, games that we cover here at ONTV on our website. You can also head over to our YouTube channel. We have a link at the video on demand link on our website to get, us, get you to our um, YouTube channel. We have over 4,000 videos on our YouTube channel. Games going back to 2012. So 
12 years of Dragon Sports archived on our YouTube channel. See the old days of standard deaf TV. <laughs> Before we got HD cameras here at Owen TV. Oh, nice feed through, but a little too strong. And Kapler can't hunt that one down. Big throw by the Blackhawks. Trying to find some sort of offensive attack here is Bloomfield Hills. They've gotten. They haven't really gotten into the 18 uh, on an attack for, I, as soon as I say that, here we go, number 11, nicely done. Dancing in there, doing a good job. Chip on. Ball is still alive and cleaned out by Belina Loza. Dragons, ooh, telegraphed that pass, but Bloomfield jumped it. Couldn't do anything with it. Good quality scoring chance for Bloomfield Hills. Got in the 18. That's even better defense. Jekyll. Again, that try, look at that fire post, and it gets through. It's alive. They're going to say offside once again. Second offside call deep in the end. Kapler can't buy a, buy a break. That's good, that's good defense, though, for those of you not aware. The offensive player has to be in front of the last... Uh, defensive player when the ball is delivered. You cannot be behind the defense when the ball is passed to you or shot on net. And it looks like uh, they were calling on that last scoring attempt saying that uh, Kapler was a step past the last defender in line standing right in front of the goalie. I mean that is the deepest offside I've seen in a while. So either way, that's the call, and we're continue play. Look at all the green jerseys. Where's the white? Just look like one on four out there. Nice play by 17 to faint the pass and keep it going. That's Belina Loza having a nice game. Solid player, the senior midfielder. Seen him over the years score a, a nice uh, bunch of goals. Farmer to Negri. Negri making good decisions out there. Patient. Joy Gaten up the middle. Apple are trying to run that one down. Can't get it. Yeah, Heightening, got to watch that. They'll call that. Don't lead with your forearm from the rear. Play continues. Ooh, nice chip on, trying to find the open man. A little too long and strong, out of bounds. Should be a throw in here for the green and white. Playing for Bloomfield Hills, number nine, David Kalash. 13, Anthony Monticelli. 14, Alexa Kuchdorf. Three subs. Number 15, Matthew Tokolo. Tofalo checks in for Lake Orion and a trio of uh, Blackhawks check in. Dragons don't do a lot of subbing. They'll just do uh, spot subbing. One, one, one player here or two. Um, we see some teams that do whole line changes. Uh, the Dragons do not do that. And they'll stick with their starters for a good portion of the first half. We're halfway through this first period of play. Heightening, again, battling in that corner. Nice little bender, trying to get it just outside the 18. Jekyll can't hunt that one down. Nicely done, they're 22, trying to make some move, and Verlinden draws a timely foul. Nicely done by Jack Verlinden, number 22, to draw that foul, and Jekyll will set it up. Verlinden goes to the right. We'll see which way they go with that. Kapler's in the middle, and you can see 19, also dangerous. Reds up. Lob over the top, header, and a score! They're gonna call outside again. Oh my word. How is that offside? Oh, he called him offside. 
That looked good to me because he, I guess he clicked it back. He, I don't know. That is very, very close. Let's take a look at it. You can see the Bloomfield players are not set. Dragons are. They're ready to play. He lobs it in, hits it over, and he looked like he was level with five. I, I don't usually question the referees. They are here. We, If they're not here doing the job for us, we don't have any games. But that one... I do not know. That that was very close. If anything, it's by a hair. And they called it. There's nothing you can do about it. You gotta move on. But three offsides calls that were potentially goals is very frustrating for the green and white here. Well, there's something you don't see every day. A wholesale changes for the Dragons. They're uh I don't want to call them second stringers, but the guys off the bench are just as strong as the uh, the starters for this squad. So you will not see a, a, a letdown in quality of play with uh, mass substitutions. Wow, what a, what a turn of events. That's three offsides, at least two goals nullified at point blank range. And the Dragons just have to regroup. It kind of makes you angry, so maybe they'll play, they'll play even harder. Jenzerik with the throw in, number 27. Header in the box again, cleared out by Bloomfield Hills. Negri, and can't hold it in. Good challenge by Verlinden. Everything's earned here for the Blackhawks. Jenzerik with the throw in again. Marlette trying to dance between two defenders and he does looking at a third fighting in that corner battling Col oh thought it was a corner again <laughs> he looks up to the sky going went I can't buy a corner but that's his job down there fight for those corners and then the dragons can come out and uh, crash the net on a corner kick and they're very effective foul call Saldana Plowed under there, number three for Lake Orion. Free kick coming. Number 15, Toffolo off the bench. And nice feed again, that back, back post. We settle in in the 18, gets one off, and it's deflected just out of play. You can hear uh, Coach McCauley for Bloomfield Hills giving his defense instructions, saying, what the heck are you doing? So Dragons again with more pressure, stacking up the quality scoring chances, but no corner kicks as of yet. I think foul on Lake Orion away from the ball. A little pushing in, shoving out there. Thought it was a throw and it's not after the foul. Here we go, 13.30, 13.30 left in this first half of play. A lot of action, mainly on the Dragons' offensive side. Bloomfield Hills hasn't really challenged this Lake Orion defense in some time. One quality scoring chance. They've only had the box, or the ball in the 18 one time so far. Dragon defense really pushed up. They like to put pressure on you, no doubt. Oh, nice tap in the middle, but no one's there. Coming games for Lake Orion. They're at home against Troy Athens, a quality Athens team in the OA Red Division. And they have Birmingham Groves and then Rochester. Next three games are at home after this one. Foul called on Bloomfield Hills. Free kick coming. Tuffalo with the honors. Dragons then on the road at Warren De La Salle and on the road at Clarkston. They do finish up the, uh, the regular season here at home against Rochester Adams on, let me see. Dragon's still trying to get organized here. Uh, Rochester Adams on the October 3rd. Oh, another delivery in the box. And I think that was deflected. Nope. 
That'll be a goal kick coming here for the Red, or the Blackhawks, excuse me. Subs coming in. Short kick by Bloomfield Hills. Again, nice feed up, that's on side. Nice run by number nine. Cuts inside, can he get behind him? He does not, number three stands his ground. Saldana does a nice job on defense and then a foul. Foul on Lake Orion. Good run by number nine there. Decides not to take it as you see in the upper left corner of your screen, everybody starts piling in. Which way is he gonna go with it? Probably lob it in the box and then crash the net. Drawing the defensive way, so he's a wide open shot. Number seven, let's see what happens. Challenges, knuckles over, a little too hard. And try to get one toe on it. Um, but the Dragons were there. Quality scoring chance for the Blackhawks, second of the game. Nice long hit. And Nando Bartholomew trying to run that one down, number 24. Good challenge. Wow, is that still in? My word, slip. Negri trying to pull it behind his back, can't quite get it. Nice pull on the shoulder, no call. You have, there it is, delayed. Do that too many times, you end up seeing a yellow card. No yellows today. I'm trying to think of the game we had. JV against Utica Eisenhower game that we covered. It was yellow card city. Ooh, nice lob in the box. Still ahead, Taparu. Oh, can't get it in. No offside call. And courtesy clap by the fans saying, oh, no offside call on that one. <laughs> Heightening was there. A couple degrees to the left, and that's in the upper 90, but they're still putting the uh, great pass. Still putting the pressure on this Blackhawk defense. Coming in, chip on, nice. Looking for support. Negri chips on over. Can he get there? He cannot. 13 was chasing that one down. Couldn't get there. That's Case. Hudson Case. First time calling his name today. I had to look it up. Good hustle there on that far right side. Like you said, the drop off with the, the starters to the subs is nil. Everybody knows their part, and they do their do their job well here at Lake Orion. Dragons looking to open it up, going long again. That's on side, trying to find uh, Bartholomew, 24, and out of play. Throw in coming for Lake Orion, and Andrew Heighton in comes up a little gimpy on that one. He came off, brought himself out of the game. Reds up back, checks back into the game. He's a force out there. Ooh, Taparu off the side of the net. Dubal, nicely done by the offense. Made the netminder uh, make that. Keeping them honest, keeping them busy. Goal kick though, coming. No corner kicks for either squad so far in this game. By this time, the Dragons usually have a couple lined up. Tapped out, throw in by Lake Orion. Reds it. Pushing the back, easily called. Dragons usually set these up really nicely. No need for the uh, push in the back, but sometimes frustration gets the better of you. 
Seven minutes left in this half, 0-0 zero, zero game. With the record coming in, 1-5-1 one, and one for Bloomfield Hills, you thought the Dragons might have their way with them and uh, tack on a lot of goals, but both teams have solid defensive squads. It's just that the Blackhawks are just trying to find a W. Dragons, if they score first, they get up, they can lock down that D and Nice feed into the 18 once again. Good, good defensive pressure forcing the error. We talked about that at the top of the game. The swarming defense causing errors on the passing and the ball handling and the Dragons get possession. Ooh, nice move inside, still alive. Close quarter passing by Bloomfield Hills, but it's not like they're, doesn't seem like they have the, the support from the other guys to come over and help. Too much dancing out there maybe. Touch one second, two second, deliver the ball, right? Nice feed into the box, head it out. Ooh, da all they're saying, clean tackle, all ball. Looked worse than it was. Dragons on the attack again. Right foot chip in. Oh, nearly gets through on the whiff. And a screamer just wide right. Who was that, Bartholomew? Fernando. Heck of a leg on number 24. Shooting from distance, that's what I like to see. A lot of the times the guys want to be point blank range and make a no doubter, but sometimes you got to take those distance shots and make sure that goalie is in position. Sometimes you can catch them flat footed. Another quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. Eight so far in this half. Battle in the middle. Big hit over the top, bicycle style. Putting on the show is 24. He's giving instructions to, you can see waving, setting up the offense and defense. Telling him where he's gonna go or he wants the ball, who knows? Good communication out here. Negri with it. Negri's had a good first half. Good switch offs on offense and defense. Everybody knows where they're supposed to be. Someone, a defender goes on the attack, someone takes their place. Coach Wise has to be very pleased with how his uh, Dragons are playing. I'm sure you'd like to at least have a couple of those offsides called back or uh, nice feet up that far side. Got some wheels, Let's see where we're going here. Off uh, offense falls down. Dancing around with the ball, gives it up. Approaching 3.30 left in this first half of play. No score, that's a W in my book for West Bloomfield. Excuse me, for Bloomfield Hills. Blackhawks holding the Dragon scoreless in the first half. Coach uh, has to be happy for them, McCauley. Ooh. Three on one in the middle, long and strong. 22, Jack Verlinden saw the opening. If he goes uh, left, upper 90, if he can aim that one, got away from him, then it uh, might be in business. Good collision there by 19. Reds up again, being a pest out there. I love when those dudes are pests. That means they're buzzing around, bugging the, <laughs> bugging the other team, stealing that ball. Reds up looks like he got hit in the belly. He goes down to one knee. Still staying in the match. Referee's checking him out, should be okay. They might pull him out just uh, to get the game underway. 
Don't forget, head out over to OrionOnTV.org. Find out more about our production classes and how you, too, can be a part of these telecasts. If you ever wanted to call play-by-play -play or work on a sporting event, we can uh, make it happen for you. Always looking for volunteers and community members to give us a hand on these telecasts. Maybe host your own show or work with ONTV on a sports halftime or pregame show. Let us know. Give us a call at 248-393-1060 or visit our website at orionontv.org. And even better, stop by the studio and just say hi. It's open to the public. It's at the Orion Center at 1349 Joslin Road. Open Monday through Thursday from 10 to 9 p.m. and Fridays 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Dragons working hard out here. Blue. Red Hawks, ooh, centering pass. Knocked down nicely by the goalkeeper for the Blackhawks. Good sequence by Lake Orion. They really are attacking that right side. I'd say 90% of, 95% of their attacks have been on that right side. <coughs> Excuse me. Still playing hard with uh, inside 90 seconds to go. Approaching one minute left and out of play. Dragons with the throw in, trying to do something with it here in the late stages of this first, first half. Tuffalo throws it in, trying to get something organized. Dragons looking for support to get that offense set up. Set up that right side again, a little too strong out of play. I think the Dragons in uh, Bloomfield are like, okay, let's uh, regroup at half and evaluate what do we have going on here. And see in the second half as we approach 30 seconds left. Dragons still, oh, lazy pass. Intercepted by Bloomfield Hills, something we haven't seen all half. Got to be on top of things, number 27, that's uh, Jenzerik. Good passing. Sending up that far right side. I think they're content to just drop it down, and that's a half. 0-0, zero, zero, level at nothing here at the end of the first half. Good defense by both squads. The Dragons are really putting the pressure on the Blackhawks. We'll see what happens. Second half is coming up next. Stay tuned. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. All right, second half about to get underway here at Dragon Stadium, 0-0 between Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks and your hometown Dragons. Dragons are in the mid middle of a five-game homestand. They are undefeated on the season at 4-0-1, and, and Bloomfield Hills sitting at 1-5-1 on the season, but so far putting up a fight with Lake Orion here on their home turf. Dragons were called on at least three offsides calls that nullified scoring uh, plays. And it frustrated the uh, green and white slightly, but they kept putting the attack on, putting the pressure on. And we've seen this with this squad all season long. They're, they're going to really pressure you on offense and really make you make the right decisions. And if you don't, they're going to make you pay. And the way this game is going, the first goal is pretty much going to... Settle this one, nice feed up that far side, and Taparoo still alive and cleaned up by the Blackhawks netminder in the first corner kick of the night coming. Just as I say that at the opening of the half. No corner kick, they're saying offsides again. Oh my goodness. That look, even the goalkeeper thought it was a corner kick. I'm not hearing that offsides whistle from the linesman, so my word. They're asking for a corner. Even the, 
The goalkeeper knocked it out of play. That's a corner kick. I'm not sure what's happening here, if they're talking about it. All right. Head on over to orionatv.org if you'd like more game action here from Lake Orion High School on TV's uh, ONTV be out covering uh, many games uh, this school year, about 120 in total with Dragon Broadcasting. I encourage you to head on over to dragonbroadcasting.com and sign up for the su subscription service for live streams of games all season long. A portion of the proceeds of those subscriptions go right back to the Drag Dragon Broadcasting program to help fund buying equipment and materials for that Hall of Fame state and regional nationally recognized video program here right in our backyard. Dragon Broadcasting. Farmer with a throw in right into the box. Hit the hit like Orion offensive player right in the belly. Interesting. Nice feed in trying to go that back line tap and again here we go. Trying to get it. Marlette can't get it out. Trying to get a solid hit on his on his boot, can't do it. Negri decides to set it back up again with Farmer. Good pressure, we're gonna give that another squ uh, quality chance. Marlette just had to square up on that when it's, or Heighton, excuse me, number seven Heighton and trying to square up on that ball in the box, can't do it. Went down in a heap, looking for a whistle, not gonna get it, Negri misplays it, tries to spin on it, does, recovers, nice recovery. Farmer with it, see if he lobs it in. Settles for support back at the midline. Joey Gaten delivers it far side. And a nice deflection and pressure on defense by Bloomfield Hills. Gaten over there battling. Again, the Dragons sub uh, at halftime. Brendan Zale wearing number one as the netminder in for the green and white for Lake Orion for this second half. So far both uh, teams pitching a shutout here. OAA white division matchup. Dragons at the top of the list, undefeated. Bloomfield trying to knock down the number one team in the division. Long feed, nearly had him. Heightening, trying to gather that one in, get it back. Nice deflection, Heightening has it. Go left foot, tap, nope, good size of pass, give it up. A lot of space for the Dragons to roam. Nice lob in, head on net, oh my word, what a save. Excellent save. Verlinden was there to tap it in, or at least head her and um, and Kapler doing their job out there tonight. Farmer trying to run that one down, a little tardy to the action, but it's off of Bloomfield Hills, should be a throw in. Gate, number 25 with it, setting up that offense, directing traffic, here we go. Look at all that space. He's just walking it up. Defense, is, they must have the defense packed in pretty tight. Give him all that real estate to just walk the ball up to the midline before he's even challenged. Ooh, nice left foot delivery into the box. And Marlette calling off sides again. No, a foul in the box. PK coming. Oh wow, they're looking for, they called it, he earned it. Heightenen was in there scrambling and they called a PK at 35. Wow, 35.06. Dumped Heightenen to the ground, PK coming. Dragons with an opportunity. He said first goal is so key and could it be a PK here? Hesitation, kick, deflection, and a cleanup. Dragon score, number seven, well earned. 
As you can see on the replay, hesitation. Cleans it up, comes right back to him. That's, a, that's the bummer. Being a net minder, you gotta, you gotta vacuum those in. You can't let those rebounds. Number seven does it, Andrew Heitman. He's been putting the pressure on all game long. First half, he had called on offsides, trying to earn them corner kicks, getting frustrated, but he's rewarded. Taken down in the box. First goal of the night by Lake Orion is a PK at 35-06. Can a one nothing game stand? We've seen Lake Orion do it. They've tied 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, at nil, 3-2. Don't score a lot of goals, but once they do, they just shut down offensive attack. Dragons beat West Bloomfield 2-0 on uh, August 22nd on the road. Dragons looking for more. Here's uh, Farmer. Throws it deep. Ooh, danger. Collision with the goalkeeper. And who went down? You hear him. Injured player on the field. That's a rough one. Farmer did a nice job. Threw it in there, and Bloomfield Hills tapped it towards the net and then there was a collision with the goalkeeper and gets up, he seems to be okay. It looks like Jekyll, he's gonna come off and just kinda, he's gonna stay in. Got him good. Heard the smack up here in the stands and He's going to stay in the match. Time has stopped. Not sure what the delay is. Bloomfield, look, uh, netminder giving his uh, defenders instructions there. Stand here. Just waiting for clarification, seeing if uh, Jekyll's coming out of the game and get a sub. And there's the answer. Saldana checks in for Lake Orion, sporting the number three jersey. And we're underway. Dragons up 1-0 on the PK by Heitnen at 35-06. Dropped in the box and a foul. Another foul pushing and shoving. They're calling it on Bloomfield and he doesn't like it and he's protesting, saying grab, grab my jersey. But here we go. Dragons with the free kick here in a dangerous spot. Kapler, number 12, looks like he's going to have the honors here on the, on the free kick. The wall is positioned by the referee, giving him some instruction. Elena Loza kind of. Standing there too, being an option. Oh, low screamer and nicely collected in by the Black Hawk uh, goalkeeper. That was a interesting shot. Usually try to go above, but did a nice job of keeping that low to the, the turf. Good save. Yeah, don't even try number seven because they've called you offside how many times, like it or not. But heighten in. He's been out there doing a good job all game long, trying to earn those corners, trying to put the pressure on it. Here we go again. Room in the middle of Rome. Comes over to number 20. And deflected out. Sosa is a slippery player. First corner of the game. Jekyll checks back in for Lake Orion after going down in a heap. Corner kick, Sosa, they, they're gonna have, uh, yep. <laughs> That's usually happens, 10 handles these. He goes out, comes back in. 
Handle the corner kicks. He does a really nice job. Very accurate. Let's see how we handle him. Far post knuckles over. And Farmer challenges. They're going to call a foul. That was all ball. But that's, a, that's how they roll. Let's go. I was looking at the ball, not necessarily his body or his hand, so I didn't see where the contact was. Blackhawk sending it down range, trying to set up some sort of offense. 31-15 left in this match. Dragons up 1-0. Huge goal. A penalty kick after the foul in the box by Heitnen. Andrew Heitnen, number seven, tallies the lone goal of the night. Plenty of space, not even challenging him. But a good challenge by seven to steal that ball, and he's on the move. He's got some room to roam. Dragon's trying to stifle it. There it is, open in the middle. Six pull back, trying to find some open. Won't shoot it from distance. Let me just right. Shoes untied. Still alive out here, and... Heitnen goes down, and he's limping. Oh, what a chip on, nicely done. Still alive, seven's trying to chop it up, or excuse me, number 11 for Bloomfield Hills. He's been a pest all day, he's a good player. But Heitnen, he was, he was limping, he got hit in the uh, ankle, and we got a loose shoe here, so we'll tidy up some equipment issues as see him limping there. Lone goal scorer of the night, number seven, he's limping, he's, he's asking for a replacement. Not sure if it's cramps or what's going on here. Everybody's stretching the hammies out and the calves out. Time has stopped at 30 minutes, 10 seconds left in this half. Dragon's talking about, it, it is hot. It's, it's, it's steamy out here tonight, so get some cramping issues going on. Guys going down. Play underway. Left foot screamer down that far left side, trying to find something out of play, but throw in here for Lake Orion. Dragons trying to get some action going on the offensive side. Love to get this at two nil. Bloomfield had a nice little charge up that side. We'll call it a quality scoring chance, why not? Inside 30 minutes left in this second half. Nice charge into the, pushing in a shoving and a pushing and a shoving. And a goal kick coming here for Bloomfield Hills. Kim checks in for the Blackhawks. Singular sub, ooh, dangerous pass. Danger, danger, look at how, collapse that offense is. They are right in front of that net. Every pass is challenged by Lake Orion. Bloomfield Hills is uh, kind of content to just sit back and pack the uh, defensive end. Nice challenge, still alive, and he had to clear it out. Here's a corner kick. First one of the night, second one of the night. Time continues to roll here as they set up the corner. We've had games where Lake Orion had five, six, seven corners. This is the second one of the night. And again, number 10 has the honors. He's the guy in the corner. Good game for number 10 all over the place. Senior midfielder. Lob in, nicely done. Far post, still alive. Who wants it? 17 goes down in a heap, looking for a whistle, not going to get it. Reds up trying to battle it down. Farmers in on the action, collapsing in the. Jeez Louise. The whole Dragon team is in the 18 and put the pressure on the Blackhawks, but get nothing from it. 
Farmer's a defense, uh, his defense, and he's in the mix. Negri, good positioning between him and the defender with the ball. Nice turn, Chico, dispossessed. Nicely done by Bloomfield Hills. Dragon showing some speed over there to slow down that attack. Nicely done by number six. Doesn't seem like much, but plays like that really add up over time and really, I mean, Marlette, nicely done. That slows down an offense, drives you crazy. Blackhawks probing that defense, trying to find an opening. Miss hit on the clear by Jekyll, still alive. Finding some space. Chip on in the box, played easily by Zale. He shoes everybody out of the box, stands ready for his punt. That was a good sequence for Bloomfield Hills, the, the most organized we've seen them in a while on the offensive end. Dragons can't sit back, one nothing lead. They're used to these tight games, but you don't wanna, any team in the OA White Division can score on you if you just sit back just a little bit. They'll find an opening. These are quality players, no matter if you only have one win on the season. These are good players. Like Orion moves quickly, Negri. Coming near side to Farmer. A lot of space. Nice little chip on, nice little taparoo. Here we go, going far side over there. Still on side. Corner kick earned. Nope, goal kick, oh my word. Thought that was a corner kick. Sosa was there, good challenge, but that's good defense to knock it off of uh, number 20 for the green and white, earn that goal kick. Nice play inside, nice turn, finding the open space, nice individual effort there by number 10, nicely done. Ball is still alive, foul earned. Good challenge over there, but dangerous spot. Bloomfield Hills in the opportune position here, decided to move quickly. Up that left side, chip on the net. Oh, just missed back post. And that ball trickles out of play. Should be a throw in here for Lake Orion at 24-31 left. That was a nice organized effort there by the Blackhawks. Fourth quality scoring chance by them this evening. Dragons unforced error, threw it out of bounds. What are they saying here? Looked like it was out. Looked like Lake Orion was throwing the ball in. What is happening? I guess it was an off on, uh, on the shot. Must have been deflected. Here we are in the box. Dragons turn on it, try to get it out. Farmer tries to keep it in, barely does. Look. Just out of play. So another throw in deep in the Dragons offensive end. Let's see what happens here. Chasing personnel on the throw in here. Key throw in, key throw in. For Bloomfield Hills, throws it deep in the corner and nobody there and Gathered in by Lake Orion, and they're on the move. G on that far side. He's got room to roam and some speed to do it, and he chips on right, drops it in. And a foul called on Lake Orion. Twenty-three minutes left in the second half. Dragons up one nothing on the penalty kick by Heightening at 35-06. Going deep, looking for the foul, not gonna get it. Still alive, looking in the middle. Negri is there. Up 
that far side. Nicely done, tiptoeing that line and intercepted by Bloomfield Hills, but it'll be a throw in for Lake Orion. Dragons would like to go up 2 0. Two goal lead in a game like this is nearly a certainty that to get a W. Nice feed in by Jekyll. Knocked down by Bloomfield Hills. Decided to tap it out of play just to slow down the attack. Dragons with a throw in. It'll be Farmer with the honors. The guy's got a gun. He can chuck it right in the box. Decides to come back for support and get that offense set up. Joey Gate, number 25, sets the offense up. Nice long left-footed feed into the box. And they're going to say offside. That's at least five offsides on Lake Orion today, but they have been the aggressor. They have been. What can Bloomfield Hills do? What do they have in them? Can they muster back-to-back -back quality scoring and offensive rushes? Let's see. Looking for support, and the Dragons steal it. Kapler, nicely done on that play. Dish it back to Farmer with a lot of room this room to roam. Ball goes through. Nice slight tackle. Boy, Kapler is a pest out there. Doing a nice job just getting in the passing lane. Slide tackles. Good passing. Here we go. Nice room to roam. Bloomfield Hills has an opportunity here. Nice cut inside. He goes... Left foot on, oh, just wide. Wish I had a roster, I can uh, give praise to number seven. He's been their spark so far this second half. At least three instances where his play has netted a quality scoring chance for the Blackhawks. Gaten over to Nagri. Nagri surveys, head up. Comes near side. Good challenge. With space to move. Nice shot on. This offense is starting to come alive for the Red Hawks. Dragons are getting a little careless with their clearing passes. And Blackhawks are taking advantage. Dragons send that one down range on the goal kick. Sosa trying to do something with it, can't, out of play, and the throw in coming for the Blackhawks. Subs. So Donna checks in number three, four, Lake Orion. Sosa looks like he takes a seat. Farmer sends it down range at 19-10. Oh, nice pursuit by number 12. See this challenge, always challenging, always putting that pressure on. Trying to set that one down. Good juggle, good uh, fight out there, good one-on-one -on -one battles. Dragons are winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. Splitting that defense. Just no room to roam. Just hard to find any real estate in there for the Blackhawks to get anything going. They had a nice uh, four uh, offensive uh, rush sequence there that was very promising. And uh, just trying to get organized once again. Chipping over that back line. There he is, number seven. We saw him earlier trying to key on him on the offensive set. Dragons cleared up that side, still in, and rolls out. Time continues to roll here. Blackhawks have an opportunity to see, set something up here. So we're inside 18 minutes. Long throw into the box, nicely done, still alive, but nobody there to clean it up. Dragons always pack at least three guys in the box, it seems, on, the, on those intermediate throw-ins where you know you can get it in there. Uh, Bloomfield was content to just have one back and easily handled and shut down. 
Good challenge, good fight. Kapitsky's out there, number nine. Oh, nice move by Nagari, getting a little fancy. He gets it around, nicely done. Whirling Dervish out there. Looked like the ball was out on the Blackhawks, but no. Gonna check up in a hot pursuit, make him make a decision. Can't pick it up with his hands. Farmer off his chest, nicely done. Blackhawks trying to get something mustered, finding that open space. You can see how the lanes are clogged. Nice feet over to number seven again. Can't spin on it. Dragons are winning these one-on-one -on -one battles. Seems like the defensive intensity has picked up a step here in the last two minutes. Nice denial by Negri. Coming near side. Saldana. Oh, trying to cut inside. Difficult move. Hard to dribble between the defense. Nice effort, though, there by uh, Braden Kapitsky. Frustration on the, uh, <laughs> the Blackhawk faithful. You can hear it in the microphones. Just giving the ball away. Not eyeballing who and what you're trying to do here. There's just nothing there, and he gives the ball away. With room, there's space out there. That, the offensive players for uh, the Blackhawks need to do a better job of getting back in attack mode. They're just not getting back. Nice turn, still alive. Here we go. Scream on goal, easily gathered in, but another quality scoring chance by Red Zip. Knuckle over punt, trying to beat that backline defense, but nobody's there to charge, and it rolls harmlessly off to Zale, who collects it in, and Dragons have all the possession back. Feed up that left side with room and space. That's on side. Chip on, that's out. That should be a corner kick. Or the whistle, not sure. Every time I think there's a corner kick, we're going to see what's going on. Whistle back. Behind the play, is that what's going on here? Looks like it. Playing for Bloomfield Hills, number 19, Alex Stewart. For the Dragons, 24, Fernando Barnard. Whistle blows, they're ready to go. Corner kick coming. Dragons are in position. Low screaming near pole and deflected out. Still alive. Number seven trying to do something with it. Good individual effort. Three on one. Finds the open player. Again, a lot of dancing out there. Not a lot of passing. Oh, taken down that no call. Looks like he was hooked from behind. Play continues. Nice individual effort there. Pulled on the shoulder. No call. Still play continues. Gonna get the shot off. Score. <laughs> Nicely done by the Dragons. Take a look at this again. Just great footwork. Splits the defense. Bartholomew, I believe, and then it trickles free, and then a solid left foot by number 17, Loza. Alina Loza, he was out there making a, had a really nice first half, had his chances, but he cleaned it up, but you gotta give, the, give it up to the individual play of number 24, Fernando Bartholomew. Hope I'm saying his last name right. Getting him in position on that ball, just putting that pressure on. You look like Bloomfield grabbed his shoulder to try to slow him down. And no call. That was, you know, trying to get a foul in that position would be a good, good strategy. 
Here comes Bloomfield. They got some room to roam. Nice inside move. Right, fight, right foot strike. Saved and covered up by Zale. Good quality scoring chance. Seventh of the game for the Blackhawks. Dragons are approaching 15 quality scoring chances. Here we go, clock winds inside 13 minutes to go. Dragons up 2-0 on the visiting Blackhawks from Bloomfield Hills High School. Dragons trying to remain undefeated on the season and atop the OA White Division as the offense again gets, on, gets back to what it does well. That looked like a handball, no call. Play continues. Incidental contact, I guess. Now uh, the Blackhawks are up against it. They need to get a goal and need to get it quickly. Moving along, moving along. Oh, nice pass to this side. Uh, found an opening. It looked like it was deflected. Should be a throw in for the Blackhawks. We move quickly. Smart strategy, turning on it, trying to get find somebody in the middle, and nobody's there. Different uh, offensive philosophies and uh, setups for both teams. They're, they couldn't be more different. Dragons really crashed the net. They put three, four guys up there to pressure. All the passing lanes are challenged, deflections. That is off of Bloomfield Hills. Should be a throw in for Lake Orion. 27 with the honor. That's Broden Jenzerik. He'll uh, have the honors on the throw in as the Dragons are content to let this clock just run. They're in no hurry. Throws it into number 14. Who's 14? Jacob Ryback. First time I've mentioned his name. Don't get lackadaisical with the ball and turns it over. Throw in coming for the Blackhawks. We've seen this before after the first goal. The Dragons kind of led up on, on defense. Oh, nice feed inside the box. Seven was there. He's been their main offensive spark in this second half. Ball gets away from uh, Loza. Can't, Molina Loza can't contain it, and he's got a cramp going on the thigh. Blackhawks just trying to get something organized. 10 minutes and kicking. Out of play, should be a throw in for the green and white. I want to thank you for tuning in to this telecast. We appreciate you uh, watching these uh, games. We hope you enjoy them. If you'd like to learn more about uh, Game of the Week and all the different uh, offerings we have at our website, head on over to OrionOnTV.org. Click on the Video On Demand button. You can even watch our three live streams as the Dragons again pushing deep into the Offensive zone of the Blackhawks. And our video on demand linked at our website at orion9tv.org. You can also find a link to our YouTube channel. Over 4,000 videos and 3,000 subscribers to our channel so far. Games going back to 2012, some even older than that. Ooh, nice taparoo, still alive. Again, that's uh, number 24 being very busy out there off the bench. Ball's tapped over to the left. Looks like another corner coming for Lake Orion. Dragons are taking their time. Fourth corner kick of the night for the Dragons. And... Uh, Bloomfield Hills has to be wary here watching. Nice bender, header out, nicely done by the defense. And they have some room to roam. But again, multiple green jerseys, elbows getting high. Called on the white, he knows it. Dragons move quickly, try to get him flat footed. Chip in the middle. Always moving the ball towards the net. Nicely done. Who's number two? Cather, Alex Cather, the senior midfielder. Just pushing that ball towards the box, pushing it towards the net. Always moving forward. 
Nice long feed. Can they get it organized? Back to where we started. <laughs> Approaching eight minutes left. Blackhawks need to do something here. Good defense by the Dragons. Every, all those passing lanes are just blocked down. Nothing's easy tonight. Again, the scoring summary Dragons got on the board at 35.06 with a PK. That was the, uh, the game stands as is. That's the game winner. But we got a lot of soccer left here at 7.49 left in this second half of play. Two goal lead, nice second goal by Loza. Melina Loza on the cleanup and finished it nicely to get a two goal lead here in this divisional matchup. Trying to get organized. A lot of one-on-one -on -one action out there. Oh, nice delivery, but deflected down. Get off the back of a player, back to the midfield line. Trying to set it up again. Dragons trying to make up their mind. What are they doing? 17, Loza, Belina Loza trying to set this one up. Still a lot of time left. Two goal lead for Lake Orion though. Feels like it could be four. Nice feed in the, find the open man, nice turn. Trying to get something going. Still room to roam. I can step away with it. Got to give credit to the bench here at Lake Orion. Uh, starters were out, a nice mixed bag of uh, players of usually second off the bench. And nice challenge here. Dragons clear it out instead of picking it up. Still alive. Trying to send it down range, and they do. Turn it around, six, approaching six minutes left to play. Nice long feed. There's room. Oh, feed it. Nicely done to seven. He's alive. Score! Five fifty-two. Huge goal for the Blackhawks. Sanchez. You see, he just beat the defense, lack of days ago running back to cover, and left the goalie, hung out to dry, nothing to do. Zale, there goes the shutout, but even more important than that, the Dragons, two, the two goal lead is cut in half. New life here for the Blackhawks. Second time we've seen where the Dragons have uh, gotten a two goal lead on a, uh, or a, a lead at least, a one goal lead, and just sit back on defense and kind of just float around. And you cannot do that. Bluefield Hills back in this match with five to go. Can they do it again? It was, and again, who was it? We've been talking about seven all night long, Sanchez. He's their main offensive weapon on the right side and they got through. Defense was slow getting back, didn't challenge him. Close proximity defense. Dragons usually put man on man right up on the ball. Didn't do it that time. Let them move free. And they pay the price. Good execution by the Blackhawks, though. They were given the opportunity. They took advantage. Shows you how tight the margins are in these games. Dragons are undefeated. Bloomfield Hills only has one win on the season. And these teams are Dragons on paper and visually and the eyeball tests are the superior team but they're still in this match and the Blackhawks are still in this match it's that close Sanchez with the ball feeds it up finds somebody on the side number 10 trying to get it going pass was slightly behind him he leads him just a little bit we're talking about a different situation here Sanchez trying to chip anything on net at this point and you can't do it all, but uh, 
He's been the lone uh, threat to uh, get a ball on frame all night. Inside four minutes. Dragons holding on to a one goal lead here in the late stages of this second half. Farmer with it. All that space to ro roam. Trying to go five hole. Kapitsky can't get it through. Farmer chasing him down. Disrupts the uh, passing lane. Does a nice job of slowing that attack. Total hustle play by number 23. That far side is 13. Case trying to do his job. Nice challenge. Should be Dragon Ball. Kapitsky doing a nice job over there. Inside three minutes, Dragons taking their time, taking their time. Farmer with it. He can drop it in the box, chooses to go back with it. There you go, drop in the box. Nice lead on, no one home on the backside. Just content to let it go in. No one crashed the net, tried to grab that one. There's room back there. 22 Verlinden doing his job. There's 14 once again for the Dragons doing his job. Jake and Ryback. Content to let that throw out, or roll out. Sanchez trying to run that one down, can't grab it. Time continues to roll. Blackhawk faithful still hoping maybe there's one more rush in them to level this match at two. It would be a huge accomplishment. Sends that one deep. Nicely done. Coach Wise for Lake Orion. Content with this lineup. No subs lined up for the last two minutes of play. Nice cover up by Zale. He's doing what he has to to cover up. No rebounds. Work the clock a little bit, adjust your shin guards, couple dribbles, adjust the gloves, then send it down range. That's a good 10 second runoff there. Goalies have to be careful. They can be called for yellow if they hang onto that ball too long. Shoulder to shoulder contact, and they're calling on Bloomfield Hills. And uh, earns the free kick. Leaves him hanging, number three. Bartholomew, number 24, a dynamic player out there. Had a direct impact on the go ahead goal with his uh, inside move in the center uh, to get that ball to Molina Loza for the uh, go ahead goal. Huge goal at this point. Time continues to roll. Dragons are milking this clock. Send it in and deflect it out. Not a lot of time. This could be the last offensive rush for the Blackhawks. Didn't, didn't really get it down range. Over the top. Farmers just letting it roll. Should be his. Gonna take his time, get ready to throw it in. 10 seconds to go, out of play. That should do it, the Dragons. Hang on for a 2-1 win over the Blackhawks of Bloomfield Hills. They move to 5-0-1, undefeated, and still at top of the OA White Division. That's all for this presentation of Game of the Week by ONTV. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have more games down the line. We'll see you later, everybody. Enjoy uh, the warm weather until fall hits. Good night, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.